Thank you. Thank you very much, um, uh, Mr. Secretary General and distinguished participants. I have the honor to deliver the following statement uh, sent by uh, the President of the Government of Spain, which I will read in its original Spanish. Spanish. Desde que Since the 10th of December 1948, a wide array of nations agreed to acknowledge and protect universal human rights. Any violation of those human rights goes beyond the unacceptable damage it can cause on specific people. It has become a challenge for all of us. It has become a threat to coexistence. Violence against any woman in anywhere in the world is in itself a direct attack on our dignity, on our inalienable dignity as human beings. Behind each of these aggressions, there is an unacceptable conception of relations between men and women. Men and women as people, men and women as citizens. A culture of domination, of embedded inequality, which has continued under the protection of complicit silence, of passiveness, or lack of awareness on the part of governments. Today, that silence, that passiveness, that lack of sensitivity cannot be justified. They are unacceptable. The majority of Spanish society believes that, and through its government and its parliament, and through the praiseworthy action of organizations working in favor of women's rights, the government has promoted an integrated law against violence on women. It is a law for effective equality between men and women. And it introduces multiple measures to facilitate the full integration of women in all arenas of public, social, and political life. We have good legal instruments now, but that is not enough. We have to be steadfast and demanding with its application, and we need to fight against gender-based violence every single day of the year. This battle goes beyond borders because violence against women is a global phenomenon, and therefore it requires global solutions, solutions which are shared and which enhance and extend experiences and initiatives all over the world. My government has therefore decided that the fight for equality and against male chauvinist violence should be one of the linchpins of the Spanish presidency of the European Union, which will take place in the first semester of 2010. For that same reason, we are pleased to see the proposal of the United Nations th through the Secretary General and his special advisor on gender and the advancement of women. This initiative is a new landmark in the fight against violence against women. It is to increase social awareness and to stress the responsibility of men as part of the Millennium Development Goals. The fight for equality and the fight against violence cannot 
be dealt with in isolation. It is part of a global challenge of threats to peace in the form of hunger, extreme poverty, and large-scale world imbalances. These plagues which beset us all include gender. Women always suffer from inequality and violence against women always finds a breeding ground in other forms of violence. The Millennium Development Goals established 2015 as a deadline. We are halfway there now and some significant progress has been made but there is still a very long way to go. We are still dissatisfied and we must remember that when we talk about violence against women, time should not be measured in days but rather in lives. It is, we, we need to fight this violence urgently for women as well as men and national governments and international organizations need to be involved. The United Nations is today showing this urgency and on behalf of the government of Spain and on behalf of my fellow Spaniards I'd like to say that we feel honored to be fully committed to these goals. Moderator. We are gathered here today because we agree, everybody, that violence against women and children must be dealt with as severe crime. This is probably the type of crime that has the biggest impact uh, on people in their daily lives. And that so many women worldwide are exposed to violence during their lifetime. And one of four women experience domestic violence. The violence is a problem that affects us all. And this is not a women issue. It's a human issue. And it's also a global uh, issue. The Nigerians say the, the, that the man is the head of the family and the woman is the heart. The Acholi from northern Uganda say that a home without a woman is a dormant home. Based on this two experiences, I've always asked my question is that why do we then fight women, beat women, abuse women, kick them out of homes? I don't have a definite answer for that. But in response to the questions that I have before me, uh, allow me to respond to it by reading what I have, and I believe it at the end of the day it shall have answered that.